Hey guys, it's Amanda Panda, and welcome to the second Baby Shark inspired custom pony video. We've already made Mommy Shark, so now it's time to make Daddy Shark. Big Mac is such an awesome big brother, I thought he would make the perfect Daddy Shark. So let's get him all prepped and ready for this underwater transformation. Big Mac has an awesome mane, but it doesn't match our daddy shark body color. So let's cut all that hair off and then use some tweezers to remove all of the hair roots and glue. For the tail, let's cut off the bulk of that and then use the tip of our scissors or tweezers to push the remaining piece of tail into the pony's body. Let's add all those awesome sharky details to our pony body. I'm going to be using Sugru today, which I just personally prefer over air dry clay. Let's take a tiny little piece, kind of looks like a pyramid here, and cover up the original tail hole. You can just use the edge of your fingers to smooth out that Sugru and attach it to the pony's body really well. Now, here is Dad. Daddy's tail. Let's attach it to that little nubbin we created and then we can attach two fins on the side. These are called pectoral fins and then the big fin up at the top which is called the dorsal fin. Now the shape of your fins does not have to be perfect because once the Subaru has completely dried it is gonna feel like rubber and we can easily trim it and cut it down with an exacto knife. Also gonna put in just a little bit of extra Subaru right in between those two fins and then use this little silicone stick to press down and create these awesome gills. I let that Subaru set for about two hours. It is nice and firm. We can easily go in with the X-Acto knife and trim the edges to create the perfect shape to our tail fin, pectoral fin, and dorsal fins. Now, when you're using an X-Acto knife, you wanna be really careful because it is so easy to cut yourself and I do not want that to happen. And you can see I started running out of white Subaru, so I just substituted with a little bit of pink. It's the same Subaru I used on Mommy Shark. Once we're done trimming off all that excess Subaru and those fins are shaped perfectly, we can start painting. I'm gonna take this beautiful, bold, bright blue and cover the entire body with three coats of paint. I'm gonna take a little bit of that blue paint and add just the tiniest bit of black to make a dark shade of blue, which we can use to accent the gills and we could even outline the back of the tail fin if we wanted to. Now let's switch over to a bigger paintbrush and paint the chest area white. This looks so awesome. It is gonna look just like the underbelly of the shark. I want this white stripe to run all the way from the bottom of his mouth to the beginning base of his tail. Let's be really careful when painting underneath the belly so that way we don't get tons of paint inside of the pony legs. That's all the painting we need to do on the body. Let's let it dry and get started on Daddy Shark's head. Using that same shade of blue, let's put down three layers of paint. And once it's all dried, we can start working on Daddy Shark's eyes. Really simple eyes today. Let's take some white acrylic paint and draw out the general eye shape. I kind of want to make them a little bit big here. And then let's use that exact same blue we used for the body for the eye. I'm gonna put that blue down right 
about here. And while that blue is still wet, go in with just a tiny amount of white acrylic paint and blend it in to create various different shades. This really makes your eyes pop. Now we can go in with some black for the pupil. And I'm gonna make this pupil really big so it looks like he has super nice and friendly looking eyes. Going in now with some more white acrylic paint. Let's give him two light reflections, one down at the bottom and a larger one up here at the top. Taking that same dark blue that we made earlier for his nostrils and going back to that white paint to finish up the white stripe going from underneath the mouth all the way down to his neck. And Daddy Shark is not going to get any eyelashes today. It is time to seal up all of our paint job so it doesn't flake or scratch. I'm going to be using a satin varnish today and once I've laid down two coats on the head and the body and it has completely dried we can give daddy shark his awesome super fantastic new mane and how pretty is this shade of blue this is after midnight from dollyhair.com I cut this hair super short it is one eighth of the original length I like to just gently wrap it over my finger and catch it right in between the two prongs on my hair rerouting tool. Those prongs are sharp, so all you have to do is decide which hole you want that hair plug to go into, press down firmly, and voila! And just like that, the hair plug anchors itself inside of the pony's head. Now, once all of the hair is in, we do need to secure it. I'm gonna take some super glue and just pour a generous amount inside of his head and then use a Q-tip to evenly distribute that glue on the inside. Once everything has completely dried, we can reattach the head to the body. Let's take a look at our completed custom. Daddy shark to do to do to do daddy shark to do to do to do daddy shark to do to do to do daddy shark we gave Daddy Shark a nice haircut to make his mohawk stand straight up and it is just the perfect length. How awesome and how cute is Daddy Shark? Oh my gosh. Now we have a pink Mommy Shark, a blue Daddy Shark, and we're missing Grandma Shark. Grandpa Shark, and of course, Baby Shark. Which pony should I make next? Let me know by voting down below which shark pony you guys want to see made next. That's it for today's My Little Pony custom tutorial. I hope that you have enjoyed it. If you have any ideas for future customs, I'd love to hear them. So drop your ideas down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, little pandas. Until next time, bye. You can follow me online to get the latest news and updates like my Facebook page facebook.com backslash Manda Panda Toy Collector or follow me on Instagram at Manda Panda Toy Collector. Want to mail me something? Guess what? You can mail it to Manda Panda P.O. Box 2855 
Humble, Texas 77347.